Hello, I'm Ives Medina. I just graduated from law school and in this channel you're going to see videos about law, law school and my personal advocacies. So for today we're going to I'm going to share to you things or perception that I had before going to law school and let's see how law school changed this perception of mine about law school. So if you're interested, please continue watching. So before going to law school, I think I am just like you. If you're not yet in law school, um, searching, reading, watching blogs about law school and mm, all of the things that, or, or most of the things that I got from from doing research was law school is toxic. Law school does not care about your opinion and law school will take so much of your time that it will almost para make you lose you. So let's try to talk about these three things. Number one, law school is toxic. It is toxic. After four years of law school, I realized law school is really toxic. It's demanding. It takes so much of your time. Um, they say law is a jealous mistress and I agree it is. But you know, um, and law school really moves on without really thinking about you um, so sometimes I believe what makes an environment toxic are the people living in the environment so when after I realize that you know it's toxic here and what I can do is to be kind not only to others but to myself as well kind to myself um, when I need to take a break I will take a break I will pause and you know I will gather or I will compose myself and then go back to studying um, if you think you need you know you really need to take leave of absence then you may take leave of absence because while law school really moves on without thinking so much about you um, life diba, is not a race so you can take a break and continue with law school when you are ready so ayun, while law school is really toxic i think what we can do to contribute in changing the environment is being kind to ourselves and to other people as well and i'm very fortunate because i surround myself with people who are not toxic i surround myself with friends who are very supportive who keep me grounded and and who supported me when I needed the support the most. So I'm very fortunate for them. Uh, so ayun, I think be kind to yourself and be kind to others as well. So that's what makes law school less toxic. Number two, they say um, law school does not care about your opinion. Uh, you know, we see movies, we see vlogs saying uh, when you started your recitation with I think or I believe the professor would most likely ask you to sit down um, because they don't care about your opinion. Well, fortunately, I did not encounter any professor in Ateneo Law who did that, I mean, who do that. Um, I think whenever I do, when I never say that, or some of my classmates, we were not asked to sit down. It's, Come on! You know, you sometimes, especially when you get rattled. But you know, the task of the professor then would just to ascertain whether you understand something or you learn something from their reading and will not ask you to sit down just because you said, I believe. And of course, um, in Ateneo, I'm also very fortunate, or I, what I love most about them is we were encouraged to think critically. Now, while we respect the Supreme Court decisions, we have to be critical, especially that we're going to practice the profession. And one way or another, we're going to be an advocate. So in class, um, there are times that the professor would ask us whether we agree with the decision or not, or whether we agree with the dissenting opinion or the domain opinion, and justify or ask us to justify why we think we agree to the dissenting or why we think 
um, or why we don't agree with the main opinion. So, you know, we are encouraged to think critically. And I re- so, in Ateneo, I learned that law school does care about your opinion, especially to some um, politically motivated cases as well. So, ayun. Number three naman, law school will take so much of your time. That's true. But, I, as I've said in my latest, uh, my video before this, there's more to life than law. So, as much as possible, I think for me, what helped me cope with law school is having life outside law. Like, interacting with my friends outside law school, um, joining different organizations also participating in different activities that are not necessarily connected to law school and in this interactions that you will you know parang ka matutunan about life when you don't box yourself and when you don't exist in a vacuum although it's very hard especially it's so time consuming but I hope we can try kasi iba talaga siya and ako din talaga I believe na we don't exist to fit in a legal system I mean it should be the other way around legal system is there to fit to the society to cater the needs of the society and we're only going to for me ah, we're only going to know what our society needs or what parang what how law can really aid us is when we interact with people, when we hear the stories of people and not just the letters of the law, not just the Supreme Court cases, it's the personal stories and experiences of people outside law school that will help you appreciate the study of law even more and be an advocate to change certain things that, that should be changed in law that will help these people of course um that will help us in achieving you know, you know progress and uh, right now finico it's really so it's really hard especially in studying law in a pandemic online classes a whole one and a half years long online class but it was so difficult so i can't imagine um new experiences ng ibang students ngayon. and now i'm reviewing for the bar on i mean strained physically I can't go to the library or to the cafe and that's why I encourage you to register to vote and get vaccinated and let's vote these people out of office because of their poor political decisions we are suffering we are deprived of a lot of things and you know we have to get out and vote we have to encourage other people we have to go out of on out of the internet go offline and encourage people to vote these people out of office so there i hope you learned something um from this video actually i only did this video because i wanted to take a break from studying so this is me being kind to myself talking to you so if you have um comments please or parang suggestions or anything any concern that you would want us to talk about then you can comment it in this video I am reading them and I try to interact with you and I want to learn more from you as well. So yeah, just comment down. Bye! Goodbye!